morning students. I am Sindhu A. Nair from KV NAD Karanja. Today we are going to discuss surface chemistry which is also an easy chapter. So the content what I am going to teach you is the gist is given on the board. You can just go through. It is a 5 marks chapter and easily scoring chapter. So many questions were being asked from the chapter which we will discuss one by one. You just go through the content. The chapter contain mainly deals with the content you can see in the board. The first topic which is given is adsorption, then it comes desorption, then it comes sorption, then physisorption and chemisorption which are the two different types of adsorptions. First we will discuss adsorption. Before coming to adsorption I have to tell you one thing we have dipped, we will be dipping chalk in ink. If we see the chalk, we can see that on the surface of the chalk, there will be lot of ink particles will be there. After breaking and seeing the chalk also, we can make out that inside the chalk, there will be lot of ink present. Means the absorption on the surface as well as in the interior is has taken place. Means the process is called sorption where the molecular species are concentrated on the surface as well as the interior. That process is called a sorption. So as I have told you what is sorption? The concentration of molecular species both on the surface as well as the interior is called a sorption. So when we put a chalk piece in ink for a lot of time, then afterwards suppose we break and see the chalk, we can see that the interior is full of a uh, ink particle. The chalk inside the chalk there is lot of ink particle or it is totally soaked. In that way what we say chalk has absorbed, absorption takes place. For example sponge you put it in water. Afterwards when we squeeze the entire water will come out also. Sponge has totally soaked, totally absorbed the entire water. Sometimes uh, water will spill on the table. Then we put a sponge paste. The entire water will go inside it means it has absorbed, it has swallowed the entire water or the process is called absorption. Then we say it is it has absorbed A, B, absorbed. Here we are discussing mainly with the process called adsorption. Adsorption is a surface phenomena or it takes place in the interface. It is a surface phenomena where substances like silica gel, alumina, these all are the substances having capacity to adsorb. Then what is adsorption? Adsorption is a process in which the concentration of molecular species will be more on the surface than the interior. That process is called a adsorption. It is a process where the concentration of molecular species will be more on the surface than the interior. For example, we make a uh, small rod of silica gel means we solidify it and we put it in ink. When you break and see, you can find that on the surface there are lot of, there is, it is covered with ink. But interior the concentration will be less. We cannot say that it is not there in the interior, but the concentration is more on the surface than the interior. That process is called adsorption. I hope it is clear to you. We have discussed the three terms, one is adsorption, another one is absorption, third one is sorption. In adsorption, the concentration of molecular species is more on the surface. Absorption, the concentration of molecular species is more in the interior and in the sorption, it is equal both the interior as well as surface. Now the next term in the board what you are seeing is desorption. Desorption is the reverse process of adsorption. Anyway, we are removing the adsorbed substances. Various modes we use or ways we use to remove the adsorbed substances from the substance where it is getting adsorbed. That is called desorption. The reverse process of adsorption is called a desorption. Now, how to, there are two terms like in a solution when we prepare, we will have a solute as well as a solvent. L same way in adsorbent, there are two terms. First one is adsorbent and other one is adsorbate. In adsorption there are two terms the adsorbent and adsorbate.
and adsorbate the substance where the adsorption takes place for example silica gel that substance or alumina which is used as an adsorbing material the substance on the surface where the adsorption takes place is called adsorbent and the one who is getting adsorbed suppose ink is adsorbed or any substance gas any gases are adsorbed the substances which is getting adsorbed is called adsorbate there are two terms adsorbent and adsorbate the substance which is used for the process of adsorption is called adsorbent the substance which is getting adsorbed is called adsorbate clear to you now the next content which we have to learn is types of adsorption there are two type of adsorption one is physis option and other one is chemis option means physis option the concentration of molecular species on the surface of the substance is called adsorption in physis option what we have seen the type of force of attraction between the adsorbent and the adsorbate is how it is depending upon that we have classified it as chemis option and physis option in physis option as the term indicates the force of attraction between the particle between the adsorbent and the adsorbate is physical in nature ya yeah, weak in nature it will be weak van der waals force of attraction between the adsorbent and the adsorbate adsorption can be any type a gas can be adsorbed on a solid liquid in liquid uh, state also adsorption takes place so the mainly we deal with adsorption of gas on a solid if we consider the adsorption of a gas on a solid the force of attraction between the gas and the solid is physical in nature we call it as physis option means the force of attraction is weak it is van der waals force of attraction operating between them in chemis option the force of attraction is chemical in nature there is a type of bondage a chemical bond formed between the reactant and the product how a chemical bond is formed between the reactant and product you know the same way between the adsorbent and the adsorbate a van a chemical bond will be formed i hope it is clear to you so there are there are di many differences major differences between physis option and chemis option which is a sure question in examination most of the times it is being asked at least list out four differences between physis option and chemis option like that many questions are being asked so we'll come to the details you can see a chart on the board where the difference between physis option and chemis option is mentioned in the first case the force of attraction between them physis option is van der waals force of attraction before coming to that i have to tell you one thing children suppose this is your adsorbent the substance where adsorption takes place this adsorbent surface there will be lot of active sites or small pores on the surface of that adsorbent suppose if i draw it here there will be lot of active sites or i should call it as small holes or adsorbing areas will be there so the reactant which is coming will be occluded if it is a gas we use the term occluded or will be it will be incorporated into this area where there is a temporary chemical reaction takes place between the adsorbent and the adsorbate after this when we discuss catalysis you will understand what i am telling why it is temporary force of attraction and all a force of attraction a bond will be created between the adsorbent and the coming gas so as you know this adsorption takes place on the surface so the weak force of attraction is operating the second point you can see it is not specific physis option cannot be specific because it involve the weak force of attraction van der waals force of attraction between the adsorbent and the adsorbent so it can it it can any gas can be adsorbed on the surface of any of the adsorbent but in chemis option you know that a particular reactant will be reacting with a particular another reactant only or a cat in catalysis process for a particular chemical reaction a particular catalyst only will be used so it is highly specific everywhere on every substance every gas cannot be getting adsorbed or a, the chemical bond cannot be formed between every reactants so here the adsorption is highly specific in chemis option 
but in physics option it is not that specific anything can absorb on any substance third one reversible Re before coming to the reversibility i should talk to you about the temperature the surface the force of attraction between the absorbent and the coming gas is purely van der waals force of attraction physical in nature so how it will be when we heat the force bond will be automatically breaking am i correct when we break heat the bond will be automatically breaking and the gas will be released it will be moving away that's quite natural so the physics option the, the the force of attraction is van der waals in nature it the gas will be released easily so at high temperature physics option is not favorable d option takes place clear to you in physics option in chemis option as we have seen it takes place at high temperature because every chemical reaction we need an activation energy for the reaction to take place so there should be a minimum amount of energy that is threshold energy for every chemical reaction to happen if the threshold energy is not there we provide extra energy in the form of heat so you have studied the boltzmann distribution curve in class 11th according to that way if we see if we heat the molecules which which are not having sufficient energy for to participate in the reaction gain energy and they form chemical bonds chemical reaction takes place so chemis option increases with the temperature this point you have to understand clearly in physics option the force of attraction is weak so as you heat the it will be released fast the gases will be released fast in chemis option the chemical reaction has to take place so when we heat it provides activation energy for the reaction or the reaction will be getting sufficient energy to take place so that it is increases chemis option since it is chemical bond formation it increases with the temperature now adsorption is a process it is exothermic heat releasing process how the enthalpy of of a chemical reaction related with the strength of the bond you know we have studied in class 11th if the bond strength bond formed is too strong amount of energy released will be more naturally the bond strength is bond is strong the amount of energy released will be more so here it is a chemical bond naturally the amount of energy released will be more 80 to 240 this is a physical uh, simple force of attraction means van der waals force of attraction the bond amount of energy released will be equivalent to almost a hydrogen bond how much energy it has that will be 20 to 40 kJ per mole so now that option see since there is no specificity in this case anybody can come and occupy the surface no specificity in this case so any gas can come and accumulate on the surface once the see both physics option and chemis option depend on the surface area as everybody know since this is an adsorbent this is another adsorbent where the more adsorption will takes place this area is more so more adsorption takes place naturally on this less adsorption takes place on this in that aspect if we see more the surface area both physics option and chemis option will be more that is not a difference that's a similarity more the surface area more the adsorption that is why in catalysis and all we powder catalyst and add in the reaction system to increase the surface area so that the internal molecules of the means in a block of catalyst you are putting powdering and putting has got lot of difference interior molecules are also exposed for chemical reaction so in physics option and chemis option one similarity i have told you along with the difference that is bit force of attraction means surface area is more more will be physics option as well as chemis option now as one more last point which you have to see is multi layer and mono layer adsorption since the adsorption is on the surface once the gases are totally adsorbed on the surface this gas can attract another uh, this another one more layer can be suppose this everywhere the gas has adsorbed one more molecule of the same gas can come here between this two gas molecules there can be van der waals force of attraction so second layer is formed again on the surface one more layer can be adsorbed depending upon the adsorbent and adsorbate 
Multi-layer adsorption takes place in the case of physics option because the force of attraction is purely Van der Waals force of attraction. Chemis option, once the surface is covered, as you have seen, once the surface is covered totally, there is no scope for the reactant to react with the another one. Suppose this gas has chemisorbed here. Chemical reaction takes place between the adsorbent and adsorbate. One more gas molecule, if it comes, it cannot attack or it cannot react with the same site because the site is already occupied. The seats are full. So it cannot be adsorbed on that site. So only single layer adsorption takes place. Above and above multi-layer adsorption is not possible. Chemical bond formation, the reactant has to be free to react with the other reactant. Adsorbent site has to be free to accumulate the adsorbate. So when there is no vacant space, it cannot react there or it cannot form one more layer on the surface. So it will form only monolayer adsorption. Whereas in case of a physics option, it form multi-layer adsorption. I hope the differences are clear to you. You can go through the board once again. There are six differences are given. Go through the board once again and get it, understand it clearly. And now we deal with the amount of gas adsorbed and per unit mass of the adsorbent. The amount of gas adsorbed and the mass of the adsorbent, there is a relationship given. Or we have, will be discussing about the adsorption isotherms. As you know, the term means isotherms are constant temperature diagrams. Constant temperature diagrams are called isotherms. Frelich adsorption isotherm, he gave relationship between the amount of gas adsorbed per unit mass of the adsorbent. Amount of gas adsorbed is given as a term X. M is a mass of the adsorbent. Uh, normally, we take unit mass of the adsorbent. P is the pressure of the gas. He has given a relationship between extent of adsorption X by M. X is the amount of gas adsorbed. M is the mass of the adsorbent. X by M is extent of adsorption is equal to K into P raised to 1 by N, where K is a constant, N is an integer. P is pressure, X is amount of gas absorbed and M is mass of the adsorbent. See, for physics option, he has given a plot also. If we 